Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Gold, my Mono Normal run. Though honestly, I expect today's battle to be pretty boring, let's face it. Poison against Maya Luna? <laughs> Waste of time. The enemy stands no chance. No chance at all. <sighs> Why, game? Why do so many of the gym leaders in the post-game content have to be so weak? I mean, besides the type advantage I got here, I mean... Even that wasn't the issue. I'm so much more powerful than Janie that it doesn't really matter what team I bring, practically. I'm still gonna curb stomp her, but the poison typing has just so many weaknesses, and there's so many people like, pick up psychic moves that it's pretty much a joke if you don't know what you're doing with it. And with the level advantage, it doesn't really matter. I'd still tear through them. I mean, just look at this Noctile, I mean, you know that the Gym Leader has to basically be on this level. Maybe a bit stronger, but not much. It's just such a, a nuisance that it constantly bugs me that these Gym Leaders should not be this weak. Oh, whatever. Just put it in the box, Mom. I'm never gonna look at it, probably anyway. The only time I go looking in the box for items she picked up for me is if it's, um... In the poison room, because I was looking for the moonstone. That's it. Otherwise, I just ignore her gifts, because I don't care. <sighs> I love how she makes this so obvious, though, by being out in the middle of nowhere all by herself and in a place that you can only access by going through everyone else. Um, making it obvious that she's the gym leader. It would have been more sneaky to put her off, like, at the front or in the middle somewhere, because people might go in the back after trying the first couple. Unless they like to, um, systematically take out every opponent here. Well, there goes Crobat. <sighs> yeah, but as many levels as we got here, I could probably use Stomp and win my way through these battles. I don't even have to use the tactical advantage with, uh, Psychic. But, because she's a gym leader, to make her feel a bit better about herself, I'll use the most powerful psychic maneuver in my arsenal. You know, just so she doesn't have to feel as bad about being, you know, so weak. You know? Yeah, I know the NPCs can't really feel that, but... Hey, it makes them seem a bit stronger if I'm using more powerful moves, right? <sighs> yeah, I know, it doesn't really make them any better. I mean, at best, Weezing was going to be able to just blow up there, assuming it survived. Ah, uh, she's saving, um, Fenomoth for last. Interesting choice. It is her strongest Pokemon, so it does make some sense to save the best for last. But at this point, she wants to just throw it out earlier just to have it try and make a damaging attack at all. <sighs> um... Um, give her a side beam. Come in handy at some point, I'm sure. And even if it doesn't, I'd rather have Crunch than side beam. And against most weaker opponents, I'm just gonna go stomp anyway. Plus, I can make them flinch with stomp, and I might do that with Crunch too. Probably doesn't have as many uses as side beam, but. Whatever. I mean, at this point, our grinding is largely going to either be against much stronger opponents at some point, or we're going to be going through the Elite Four, and having a better move would be better off. We'd be better off with. There aren't too many people I can throw it at, though. But I can always use it against them. Um, Will for some variety instead of Shadow Ball. Yeah, maybe I can give that to someone on the team. I have to think about it. Doesn't matter how much you improve, you'll never get better than me. It's not like you can really improve in this game anyway. There's nowhere I can go back and um, fight gym leaders I've beaten previously. If there was, it might be a bit more interesting with that threat, but no. There's no follow-up to it. Well, that's it for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.